Kathy. Hi. Is it okay if we ask questions? Well, we hear that you never eat breakfast. Is it true? How come? This is one extreme. A relentless pursuit of excessive thinness. A psychological disorder known only in affluent societies. And 90% of anorexics are girls, some of whom reach the point of starving themselves to death. Karen Carpenter died this morning at 9.51, the victim of cardiac arrest. The Grammy Award-winning singer with the mellow voice was only 32 years old. Karen was brought to Downing Community Hospital after collapsing at her parents' nearby home. All efforts by paramedics and then the hospital staff failed to revive her. She had long been a victim of anorexia, a compulsion to thinness that can result in starvation. Like, honestly, if I was in school, I don't know if I even would have started doing YouTube or anything like that. People would already judge me a lot as it is. And I feel like if I were to do something like that, people would pick at me, like, constantly. And I don't, I don't know if I would have done it. I don't know. I 
my mom and I have always been very close. She is amazing. I did a great job. Where will we do a hand say? I did a good job. Okay. All right, turn towards me. Oh, come on, no. Yeah, we're it's just like green. You look so good, Mom. Oh, my mom's here. Oh, by the way, I just remember this because they were because they, like they're watching still. Um, Can you turn it down that way for a minute? So oh yeah. Win, I'm all wet. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Sorry, she's she's like in from the pool, so she's she's kind of like not wanting to be seen right now. Um, she looks awesome no matter what. Yeah, I mean, I personally think my mom always looks awesome too. So like. I think she should. Sure. She's like naked right now. Oh my gosh! Hey, don't tell everybody. Oh, sorry. She's not fully naked. No, I'm sorry. She's not fully naked. She's clothed still. Never mind. I'm just. I was just kidding. I just like to make jokes sometimes. You know, I'm just such a funny girl. So it is turned. For a minute, I gotta. Go okay, back. I'm sorry. It's turned. I'm sorry. I was just kidding. Completely, I I know. Go it's turned. I understand. No, that's not idea. I gotta wait. Okay, I, I understand. I'm turning it. I know. You, you I know, I know. Wait. I, I don't worry, I'm not gonna turn it, Mom. Okay, you can turn it now, I'm out of Alright. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> um yeah, I was just kidding. She wasn't really naked. Just a joke. I honestly don't even know most of my family members. I really only know like my immediate family, like my parents and my grandma for the most part, and my brother, obviously. One second, okay. Um, brother! Brother! One second, brother! Brother! <laughs> yeah, my brother's like weird. He doesn't, he's great. I love my brother, but like he didn't, he doesn't like being on camera. He doesn't really like his name being on the internet too much, I guess. So, um, my mom was like, don't say his name, just like whatever. So I was like, oh, okay. I guess I'll just be like, brother! Can I, is Chip, is Chip with you or? I mean, brother is brother. Brother to you. Brother's coming in, guys. One second. Turn the camera. We gotta, we gotta turn the camera because we can't have boy come in in person. No, it's turned. It's turned, I promise. Don't worry, it's turned. It's turned all the way. Yes. It's turned. Yeah. It's turned. And no one can see you. It's turned. Chip, it's completely turned. I mean, brother. Person, it's turned. I told you. What are you doing? No, don't do that. What are you doing? You're not on camera. My mom will always do this thing where she starts freaking out and she thinks she lost a credit card or a receipt or something like that. Where's my bag? Where my bag? Oh my god, where's my purse? Mom, I'm sure you have it. I left at the restaurant. Alright. Alright, fine. Alright guys, it's shit. I mean... Off. Fine, I'll get off. Okay, hold on one second. This um, is like broken. All right, guys. Well, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna go. Hey, Eugenia, can I go to playlist? Uh, I'm gonna be uh, showing Eugene, Eugenia's mom how to twerk. Now it's very rare to get a mom or dad twerk, right? It's an epic, it's legendary happening right now. All you gotta do is step. Pop the booty like that. That's so awesome. Eugenia rules. Yeah, get it out. It's my dad, guys. He's a really great person, by the way, just in case you guys think otherwise. My dad is always busy working in New York City. My dad doesn't tend to ever remember my birthday. Eugenia, Hello. You're beautiful today. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. I'm sorry to disturb you. 
No problem. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. It'll be wonderful. Thank you. Come to Texas. Hey, Grandma. How's the economy doing? Who's Tommy? I don't even know who Tommy is. Hi, I'm Eugenia's grandmother. Yeah, I think it really is important to, you know, try to like cherish like every moment with the people that, that you love and the people that really mean a lot to you. My grandma absolutely is iconic and a legend. Yeah, I'm very lucky to have my grandma. I agree, definitely. I'm really grateful for her. All right, everyone say hi to my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a seat too. Here, this one's light and easy to move. Oh, you okay? Oh, no, 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 you can sit on that one. No, no, you take that. That one might be more comfortable. I, I won't be saying this Oh, one. no, it's okay. I don't mind sitting on this one. Seriously, I like this one. It's totally fine. You sure? Positive. Well, I was just getting ready to do it. Oh, no, you're good. Here, let me just, like, move this to the side for you a little bit. Okay. All right. <laughs> Do you guys like her dress? Yeah, it says Lazy Daisy. I like Lazy Daisy. Pretty cool. It's very comfortable. Fargosti says that you're beautiful. I agree. Oh, who said that? Fargosti in the chat. The comments is always nice when you get one with. Yeah, compliments are nice, guys. See, they make people happy. They make people feel good. It's good for people to be nice. Yeah, well, I'm going to let you enjoy your people. All right, Grandma, it was so fun having you on. You can come back anytime. Oh, I'd like to. I would love that. You can always come back. Thank you. Of course. Thank you, Thank you for coming on. So, as you guys can see, now you know why I'm crazy. Please, please, please eat more. Uh, well, Gabby, don't worry. I really don't think I need to eat more. Like, I really think I eat enough right now. You're anorexic just like me? Um, Midget Mary, I'm actually not. I'm actually fine. Please, please take care. Well, thank you. Take care, Eugenia. But don't worry. I am fine. So don't worry. But thank you for wanting me to take care. Um, I'm assuming you're sad because you put, like, the sad face. So I'm just like, no, don't be sad. I'm okay. Um, I'm never, again, I'm not telling anyone for me to be, like, a goal. Like, I'm not saying, like, guys, this should be, like, what you should be. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm anyone's goal or that, like, I'm perfect at all by, like, any means at all. You're an unhealthy dumbass. I'm sorry you feel that way. You guys are just coming up with, like, every way to roast me. You're just like, eat something, you idiot. Eat something, you clown. Like, what's next? I was never in World War II, so. Skinny, ugly girl, aw, I'm sorry you think that. Wow, then somebody called me a fat ass and told me to lose some effing weight. If you don't film a mukbang in the next couple of days, I'm gonna starve myself to look like you. Just kidding, I would never do that because I don't want to die and look like you, disgusting corpse, eat food, bitch. Well, okay, well that's good because I don't want you to like starve yourself or anything like that. I don't make videos like giving people like diet tips or like telling people what to eat or like how their body should be or anything like that. So I don't know guys. I mean, I, I can't always like help how everyone's going to be influenced, but I am not like even making videos about that. Like I'm literally not even talking about anything like that in my videos. Everyone that gets mad at me now. <laughs> That's why I really don't mean to make you guys upset ever. Right? Like, I just hope you understand that. I never mean to, like, make people upset, like, ever. Like, whenever I do, I feel really bad. For 
those of you who don't know, Elephantatira is the scientific name for the butterfly. All caterpillars start out as caterpillars, and then they go into their cocoon and they turn into a beautiful butterfly, just like you as a person. If you're going through something hard right now, one day it's going to be over and you're going to turn into a beautiful butterfly and go and live an amazing life. Ninety-nine percent of the time, if you see someone use the blue butterfly emoji, it isn't connected to eating disorders. Basically, the cerulean butterfly is a symbol of pro Anna girls, specifically girls that try to give tips and tricks on how to cheat recovery. They basically brag about how they've been able to stay super sick. Eugenia will use this symbol at the end of very like sarcastic quotes about recovery. It's just like, it's not true, like, none of that is ever true, guys. It's just like, it's, it's kind of crazy that, like, people even are always trying to, like, you know, make such big deals over, I feel like, such minor things. It's like, okay, I've always loved butterflies. It doesn't have to be such a big deal. It seems like a lot of people are really, really angry with me and like I'm kind of upsetting some people. That would, That's what kind of makes me feel bad because it's never what I want to do and just when I see like a ton of people seem to be like upset and angry with me, then I start feeling really bad. It really sucks a lot to like feel like a lot of the internet kind of like hates you. Like, some people now are literally making like petitions to get me off of YouTube. I just don't really feel like that's ever really a good thing to do to people guys like anything <laughs> the whole situation has been like kind of upsetting some people are saying i'm like a bad influence on girls i would seriously never try to upset or hurt anyone like i would never want to do that and i have never told anyone to try to like lose weight or to try to like change the way they look or to look like me or anything like that. I would actually never tell people to do that because I just really think that everyone should be themselves and just do what makes them happy. Sometimes like seeing all these comments and all this hate being thrown at me, it's just kind of like overwhelming sometimes a little bit. But yeah, I just want you guys to know though, like I'm not trying to hurt anyone. I have an eating disorder and I watched Eugenia Cooney when I was developing an eating disorder. I started watching her when I was around 11. I remember the first time I saw a video of hers and I was stunned. I looked at this person, this girl, and I thought she was so incredibly beautiful. The most beautiful person I've ever seen. Looked at her, and she was skinny then. Insanely skinny, she always has been. It affected me because I went straight to, I am incredibly drawn to this person. I don't know why, but I am, and I want to look like that. I remember, I, I want to look like that. Since then, I have been diagnosed with, um, and I've been dealing with it since around then, 11, 12. I just haven't heard a lot of stories um, involving her like mine and I know this is probably gonna get no attention but I really I just want to put it out there because there's a slight chance that she'll see this and a slight chance it might affect her I just want to know that there's still hope to get through this. Step up. Kick this disease in the ass. Kick this fucking... Kick 
kick this mental disorder in the ass. Show people like me that it's possible. Because people like me, because of people like you, Eugenia, who aren't acknowledging it, is really hurtful. It's hurtful to me. Before Eugenia Cooney, I didn't have an eating disorder, but since watching her videos, all I wanted to do was be as skinny as her. Watching Eugenia Cooney can contribute to eating disorders. And you know what? I don't think it's okay. None of her content is, you know, eating disorder related, right? But we have, there's so many of us that idolize Eugenia Cooney. And this is actually inspired by Claire. She was talking about how Eugenia Cooney affected her eating. I just remember thinking, wow, that girl is so beautiful. Before I had started watching your videos, I would cut myself, but I eventually stopped as I continued to watch your videos. I started to do it again. I know it sounds selfish, but it's really not. And now I'm not fully blaming my eating disorder, but she did have a big, she played a big part in it. She got me to where I am today. Like, that girl really did do a lot of damage to me. She probably did a lot of damage to other people. And Let me tell you something, sweetheart. I get body shamed all the time. Even before I was body shamed all the time, I felt like I was fat. My stomach fat hanging over my shorts or my pants every time I wear them. My arms are too big for me. I still think that. And sometimes I do want to starve myself or I do want to throw up all my food. When people have those thoughts and then they come across your videos and they're looking at your videos, you're just doing nothing but influencing them and encouraging them to do what they need to do to be as skinny as you are. Sweetie, your skinny is not the good kind of skinny. You, I'm not trying to sound rude, but you look like a skeleton. Everybody wants to be skinny, but not your kind of skinny. You're influencing kids that are eight nine ten eleven twelve you're influencing all of these young kids and making them think this is okay i think the focus really needs to be on getting youtube to temporarily at least disable her account at least have a setting available that her channel isn't going to pop up and destruct hundreds and thousands of, of young, impressionable boys, girls. Again, I know Eugenia constantly says, you know, I'm not telling anyone to look like me and everyone's beautiful and um, whatever. No, she's glamorising having anorexia. Um, shouldn't be, shouldn't be on online um is so damaging a lot of them are triggering you have kids that well, don't want to see you die so so i'm not so going to make this video you know, because um, people are not going to make this video because they're 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 not going to make this video we have all been trying to be nice and understanding to Eugenia for years, okay? And clearly it just does not reach her at all. She doesn't care. If anything, it probably boosts her eating disorder's ego. I truly believe the more videos that are made about this subject, the more she will actually have to take responsibility for them. My goal is not to guilt her but just to speak out and let her know that her actions do have consequences i've never been called brave ever i was flooded with comments saying that 
I inspired them. Uh, I'm an aspiration, a warrior, and guys, I've never heard things like that. And it really... It really <laughs> was amazing to feel finally accepted, you guys. I think that it is safe to say that Eugenia Cooney is sick. You know, she, she needs help. She is sick. And how the T-Channels want to help her is by banning her. They want her banned. It, like, it's insane. One of them suggested they should sue Eugenia Cooney. In the past couple of days, it has become aware to me that Eugenia is actively trying to ignore us in a very obvious way. I do not tune into her lives, but I have heard that mine and Julie's and Kai's names have been banned from her chat. And Eugenia, part of me wanted to believe that you weren't aware of the harm you were causing and that by some, you know, possibility you were just oblivious. Which, now I know that is not the case. You know, at this point I'm not speaking to Eugenia. I'm not speaking f towards her anymore. I'm done with that. She clearly doesn't have the respect for me. And I've lost pretty much all of my respect for her. We need this platform heads to realize that this content creator is just not just controversial. She is actively harming children. Which leads into something else I wanted to bring up. I didn't really want to get to this point. Well, listen to this paragraph that I found from the First Amendment Encyclopedia. The CDA prohibits any individual from knowingly transmitting obscene or indecent messages to a recipient under the age of 18. It also outlaws the knowing display of potentially offensive materials in a manner available to those under 18. Now, usually this applies to pornography, but this clearly can applied to Eugenia because it requires no mechanism in which her viewers have to confirm that they are over the age of 18. And clearly, with all of what's happening right now, it is clear that she is harming children. So she can potentially get in trouble with criminal offenses here, which is unfortunate that it has to get to that level but if you know if anything's gonna make her speak out it is going to be her losing her platform because that's her money yeah sue her sue her because she's too skinny